Turtles congruent, what's a proof? Why, why learn how to do them? Well, that's a pretty easy thing because it involves deductive reasoning. And that not only helps in math, but deductive reasoning is very powerful when it comes to writing and anything else where you have to make your point and back it up in school. So uh, a chunk of this is going to be reviewed, but it's definitely worth reviewing. So you would think if you're going to prove that these two triangles are congruent, and congruent means the same exact size and shape, that you would need to show that AB is congruent to DE, that BC is congruent to EF, <clears throat> and that AC, the base or bottom there, was congruent to DF. And then you would think you'd have to show that angle A was congruent to angle D, angle B was congruent to angle E, and angle C was congruent to angle F. All of those things you would think you would need to show. In other words, all six of these things. Plus, when you're done with all six of those things, then you can prove that the triangles are congruent. So when we would say that one triangle is congruent to the other, we're really saying these seven statements, okay? But to prove the triangles are congruent, and yes, when we say they're congruent, we're saying those seven things. We're saying the triangles as a whole are congruent, each of the corresponding angles is congruent, and or are congruent, and each of the corresponding sides are congruent. We are saying that. However, you don't have to prove all of that to prove they're congruent. It's enough to prove that the side the angle and the side, namely the angle in between the two sides, are congruent. We call that side angle side. It's enough to prove two consecutive angles and the side in between. We call that angle side angle. If you show that, then the triangles are going to be congruent. The rest automatically follows. Next, if I just show the sides are equal, if I prove that, then I prove that, that the um, triangles are congruent and we call that side 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 so so far we have side angle side congruent to side angle side we have angle side angle congruent to angle side angle and we have side 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 congruent to side 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 last but not least we have angle angle side two consecutive angles and then the side after one of them is congruent to aas so let's take a look here which two triangles are congruent by side 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 This is where interpreting those marks are very important. One mark and one mark means that those two sides are exactly the same size. So notice the triangles on the left and right. Ignore the one in the middle. CD is going to be congruent to GH. There is no side on the middle triangle that has only one mark. Now, there are sides that have two marks, BC and US and FG, but the triangle in the middle can't be congruent to the other two because it's missing a one mark side. And then, of course, lastly, side BD is congruent to side FH. So what we can say is that triangle GFH is congruent to triangle CBD. And that implies a lot of things. <clears throat> it implies that the G corresponds to the C. Okay, it corresponds the F or proves that the F corresponds to the B and the H to the D. And then side CB is going to be congruent to side GF. And side FH is congruent to side BD. And side GH is congruent to side CD. All of those corresponding parts are congruent, and it's all contained within that statement. So it's a very powerful statement. Go ahead, try this one. Which two are congruent by side angle side? Of course, we're doing the stop and start just in case you forgot. Um, the problem with the middle one in this case is the angle is not between the two sides. Angle has to be between the two sides. So for the other two, and that's what we mean about side angle side, it's not an accident that A is in between the two S's, okay? So we would say the triangle EFG is congruent to triangle JKI. In both cases, the angle is between the side. Angle F is between the two sides and angle K is between the two sides. And notice, of course, that F and K match up in our statement. Okay, go ahead. Um, it's The answer to this one is not um, the star for side, side, side. It's side, angle, side, just like the previous one. 
I changed the markings here, but I couldn't get the star to move. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I just, I couldn't get it to delete. So this is just another picture of side angle side, the angle between the two sides. Okay, try this one. Okay. Um, in this case, the triangles cannot be proven congruent. AAA does not prove congruent. Okay, it can prove similar, doesn't prove congruent. Why are these triangles congruent? Well, the answer to this one is they cannot be proven congruent. Um, if you notice, I have the, angle, the sides, which is good, the one marks, and I have the two marks. So side SN is congruent to side QN, and side PQ is congruent to side TS. That's really good. And then I can get my vertical angles in there. The problem is when I do that, the side is not in between the two angles. So I don't get SAS, I get ASS. ASS spells? Yes, it does. It spells ass. And you know what we make out of ourselves if we choose ASS. So that brings us to the summary of techniques to show triangles are congruent. You don't have to prove all six corresponding parts of the triangles are congruent to prove the triangles are congruent. Um, you can just show side, 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 congruent to side, 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 angle, side, congruent to side, angle, side, angle, side, angle, congruent to angle, side, angle, 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 side, congruent to angle, angle, side. There's two that do not work. ASS, we just discussed that one, and AAA. So that those are fundamentals to proving triangles congruent. At that point, we will pause and get ready for our next slide.